Hi, welcome back. In this episode, we're going to be doing Scream TV. Alright, let's get it into it. Is Hilda. Let's fight the Haunted Mansion. Yeah, whatever. We can just skip this cutscene. Oh, I see. Alright, so today we're going to be getting the first red, or well, we're going to get the third red remote. And we're also going to get two silver remotes too. And so to do that, we need to collect all of these little collectibles here. And we can also come around to this area where these collectibles will be collected. And I'm gonna do a little cool trick that you can do where like you tell oh, it didn't work. Oh. Okay. There we are. So I hit a wall as I was karate kicking. And so that allowed me to have my speed stored but I could then be able to like get out of that karate kick motion and start a tail bounce which preserved my speed if that makes any sense it's easier to do on the European version Oliver Reed's so that's like if you live in Australia it's mainly like PAL My tongue. Yes. Sometimes that happens. Alright. Right. Yeah, it's kind of a pain in the ass that those tombstones on that climb a wall up there just disappear. Oh, yeah, so somebody actually asked me in the comments what these little diamond things do. They look like Mario Kart icons. No. They're actually not. They're just like little hint things. It's like you tell with them. And they just give you a hint at what to do. Oh. Yeah, so pain in the ass. I should have licked that. Is this a zombie? Oh. Okay, so I would have been able to, if I had that fly with me and I ate it, I could have been able to, like, get that zombie to, like... Yeah, those two arms would have only produced one, maybe. Are they together or are they apart? No, they're not. They're apart, that's alright. At least. Yeah, so, if we whack the zombie... We can get some tombstones out. And strangely enough, they're actually spreading everywhere. That rarely happens. That's like a one in a million chance there. That's really nice. So we have a fly TV that gives us a hit ball point of health. We can also jump up here and just completely skip a section down there. Whack this pumpkin too, because he can be a pain in the ass. We can just completely forget about this. And we can also come down here and get these two... these few... gravestone... R.A.P. things. They're called tombstones. I hate oh, these I've those never those found people. that one before. I should have that down pat, but I don't. Even worse. Oh, I've got no speed. I wonder why. You know what, let's just go the normal way. Can't be bothered. So we come out to this bookshelf over here, and this bookshelf is movable, and... Come around, underneath, yeah, and go 
through that bookshelf, we can flick a switch, and this switch goes to a room that we're not actually going to go to, because it takes a million years to finish. And I don't have a million years to finish. Well, I don't really have a million years on me. I feel that this cutscene could be skippable. So it gets annoying after a little while. Oops. Gonna get that checkpoint just in case. So we can just jump across this gap. And we thought we were gonna make it, but we didn't, strangely enough. Got another fly TV that we to smash so it gives us an extra hit pull or the fly's worth of health. So once the fly dies, it's all game over. Like you you then start losing your poor hit points. If that makes any sense. Ah oh, fifty hockey masks to collect. Which is an obvious Jason Jason Voorhees reference. Just go on collecting these Jason Voorhees masks, and over here is like another, like it's a. Anyway, what that was meant to be was it was meant to be a extra Leben fly. So like you would eat that fly and it would give you an extra Leben. So we don't have to like worry about those blood cools. They're just there so we can get the point eat the collectibles out of them. So we can collect more of these Jason Voorhees masks. Oh. Only a few more to go already. We've got a silver remote now, which is nice. So we have 50. Get this guy before he... Wow, one hit, one hit point of health left. Right, let's be... Save... Nice cycle there. Alright, that was kind of cool. Alright, so that switch that we hit earlier, I'm going to do a skip that will basically prevent that little cutscene from happening. Like that, once you like enter through this door, the normal way, it takes you into this little cutscene where it, like the elevator then like grows, or it, like goes down a level of what it seems. But the developers just made it so like the room enlarges and the doors like completely the same, except that it has a exit flag triggered differently. If that makes any sense? Oh. It. It's a little bit hard to set up on a semi auto bank camera. There we are. Alright, so if you enter it that way, then you'll fuck it up. Oh. You know what? Let's just do it with the manual camera. I thing I like about the manual camera is that. No matter what way you go, it's just like, yeah. Alright, so. Really? Alright. If I enter this way, then Gex will do this. And he'll completely skip the elevator cutscene and. It'll just bypass everything. And you don't have to watch a million year long cutscene. Or a million year long animation, shall I say. 
And since we have the silver remote, that makes it four silver remotes, which is awesome. So we got near, we nearly completed our object for the. We, ah, look, here's another extra label TV. We can just eat this fly, and it will give us ten lives total, which is just excellent. Alright, jump on the switch, get to see the screen TV logo, and how much we've collected all together. Media dimension, loading screen, and here we are, save the game. Alright, a bonus TV. I'm not going to do that this episode. I'm actually going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. And see you next time.